guys, we are the Iranian team, Gabriel, who is behind the camera, and that Laura, to India and Lexa, and today we are going to present to you the Romanian Toki Tiro made with healthy ingredients. For this dish we need, basically, we need, we need vegetables, such as garlic, uh, tomato, onion, parsley, uh, bell pepper, and uh, any other um, vegetables if you have avail available. Uh, we also need cheese to grate and to make along with the polenta. And of course uh, spices, because any good dish requires some spices. We use for our dish um, um, we use pepper. Well, here we have some oregano and olive oil, just a little bit because too much fat doesn't draw help. And of course the red wine because it gives a very very nice flavor. Oregano. A little bit of water in order in order to boil a little bit and red wine. Now they have to be mixed. Okay. and put into the baking okay That's it. and now we are gonna fill the tin with the vegetables before putting it to roast into the oven. Okay. We have to spread spread it very well. Look at that nice mixture of colors. Yes, it's going yes. to make an amazing dish. And add the tomatoes. Add the tomatoes. And now we are ready for the oven. We are now grating the cheese, which we will use for the polenta, that we are going to serve in the end with the tokitura. The polenta is going to be made in a healthier way, without too much oil, and the cheese is also a bit low in salt. We are now adding the cornmeal flour into the boiling water, along with uh, a little bit of uh, olive oil, maybe you can come closer. And let everybody see what the mixture looks like. And we are going to add cornmeal flour until our polenta will have the desired consistency. In the case of Takitura, this consistency is rather soft. So we are going to mix and stir from time to time until we obtain the consistency of a cream. So here we have our polenta, it is ready. We are going to put it in a different dish. Beware because it might be actually it is very hot. We add all the content in the base. It is preferable for the polenta to have a creamy consistency so that it can be eaten in the juicy tokitura. Okay, wipe it clean. Good. We arrange it a little bit, fix it, and then we add the cheese on top of it. It is going to melt and is going to mix its flavor with the flavor of the polenta. In the original recipe uh, there is also some butter, but since butter is not as healthy as other ingredients, 
we gave up the butter because it, it has too much fat and we are only going to add the cheese, which is low on salt, a very important detail. After an hour and a half in the oven, the meat is ready and we combine it nicely with the polenta. You can come closer and uh, let our watchers see what an amazing thing we've done here. We arrange it nicely and we serve it while it's hot, along with a glass of red wine or whatever drink is your favorite. We hope you enjoyed our video and we invite you to grab a taste of our healthy tokitura. Thanks!